I was sleeping, I guess. Um, more like passed out from all the champagne we'd had. It was my fault, pushing it on her, I'm sorry. You know, he's only 14, for God's sake. Do you remember what woke you? Yeah, um, him touching me. Internally, I mean, we, we, we talked about all this when we called, you know. It's hard, I know. And I'm so sorry, but we need you to go over it with us too. And what then? I'll take a swab where he touched you, as well as a urine sample. Right, and then, then can I get a shower? We'll take you to be examined by a forensic medical examiner first. Our swabs. I'm afraid so. Are these the clothes that you were wearing during the assault? We'll need to take them when you're examined. So I'll keep them on for now. If you can. Then can I take her home? There'll be an interview. An an another one? This one will be recorded and in more detail. We'll need to get specific. I'm sorry, she's already gone over this twice now. So... Layla, look, it's all right. I want to get it right, OK? Whatever you need, you just tell me it. Oh. What are you doing? I'm sitting down because this is getting very boring. I told you not to move. OK, so shoot me or shut up. Fine. <laughs> Stay there. Where do you imagine this is heading, hmm? Got no idea, have you? Come on, admit it. I'm the one holding the gun. And not very well at that, so maybe you better put it down before someone really does get hurt. What if that's what I want? Huh? <laughs> to hurt you like you hurt us. That's absurd! What? So, so is that it? You just don't care anymore? You're the one pointing the gun at me. Need I say more? Do you have any idea? what it's like to be called a pervert by your own grandad. You've always been a strange kid, ever since you were little. You know, it's a relief that you're not my problem anymore. How can you say that? All my life you've been there. Uh... You and Mum. <laughs> you're all I got. <laughs> and this is how you show your gratitude. With a gun. Lucky. There's something broken in there. <coughs> Dad! 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 It was an accident. I just wanted to give him a shock. I didn't mean for this. You shot him. This is making my skin crawl. You dirty little pervert. I'm going to call the police. Please, do it, it wasn't me. You stay where you are. Chrissy! Yeah, in here, Dad. Oh. What are you all doing up here? I didn't even know you could get in here. Yeah, you'd have to be pretty determined. Why are you in my attic? It's exactly what we're trying to ask him. Perving out by the looks of it. I wasn't, I swear. Please don't get the police involved. It wasn't me. It was Lachlan. He's been hiding out up here and I only found out by accident. He used to make me bring him food. I tried to talk him out of it. But he went all Travis Bickle. He wasn't listening to sense. Why would he be hiding out in his own attic? Well, he wouldn't be, would he? This one's just trying to save his own scrawny little neck. Dad, Dad, come on, Dad. You know what he's like? The switch had gone in his head. He said he wanted to make you all suffer. I thought you were missing just like everyone else did. Was he living here? Spying on us when the police were dredging the reservoir. When we thought he was dead. I know, Mum. What? I know. Belle told me what you said to him. She told me everything. Upset, but what I did, I did for you. You have to understand that. Can we talk about this later, please? I need to get my son back. There wasn't anything left for us here. I, I did it to help you because I, I love you more than anything in the world. Do you remember when I used to get freaked out by the shadows at night? 
and you come in my room and you you'd sing those weird songs that you've made up. It's really not the time for this! Chrissy, just concentrate on the road! Night is just day. Without the light. Turn it on. Turn off the fan. You remember? Sleep tight now. Because Mummy's here. To make all the monsters disappear. I can't believe this is happening! I told you, I did it for your own good. You're 17, how, how, how could I leave you behind? I didn't think anybody could love me, but she did. She did. And you just couldn't let me be happy, could you? Sorry, I should have told you the truth, but th this is a chance for us all to get back on track. Sleep tight now, because Mummy's here. To make all the monsters disappear. But it was you. You were the monster you always were. What? Oh, no, no, don't say that to me. Lucky, if you're meant to be together, you and Belle, she can come and visit us in Australia. I'm sorry, Grandad, but we're not going to Australia. <laughs> Make all the monsters disappear. Good afternoon, Grange B&B and &B High Class Micro Brewery, Geraldo Robertini speaking. How may I help? I'm sorry, but we're close for upgrades at the moment. To make you stay even more magical. <laughs> when were you thinking of coming, miss? Mrs Catton? Oh, how's Mr Catton, if I may ask? Is he well? Does he treat you well? Because I can arrange a very exclusive deal if you do choose to come on your own. All right then, well, if you come on your own, make sure you behave. Cos my friend here's got a very special way of dealing with people he doesn't like. How are the brakes on your car? Now get off me line, you sex pot. Show me pages ago. You said that was the end of it. She hung up ages ago. It don't count. All right. Will you get that? What's he doing over there? Just get it. I know I'm a pain. Fancy not dying so inconvenient, but you've got enough on your conscience. And that's not me saying you've done something wrong. It's because I know you're a top bloke and it bothers you. Wait, you can't keep your mouth shut even now. I'm trying to talk you out of killing me, man. Don't give yourself something else to worry about. You're the one that worries me. I won't. You blab. No, I was messing. Then what was that with the prostitute? Robert paid me, I needed it. I'm a mum. He told her about me in the attic. Because they found me. They thought I was peeping. They were going to call the police. You know, not every stupid thing you do is someone else's fault. I won't blab again, I swear. Well, you can't blab to my mum because she's dead. I've learnt my lesson. I wish I could believe that, I mean it. 
Come on. You said earlier you were brothers. No, you said that. <laughs> I want all the grudge. I can buy you a pint. We can laugh about this someday. Remember when you were gonna murder me in cold blood? Happy days. <laughs> no. Doug, are you in there? What's this warning sign for, Doug? Hello? Doug? What's going on in there? Accident. Help! Help! He's gonna kill me! He's already killed his mum and granddad. It was a stone slipping. Told me we were like family. <laughs> we both know what happened to them, don't we? <laughs> you know what, Liv? I'm getting really sick of you bothering me. Is that why you're sweating like a pig? Seriously. Leave me alone. Why is that? Who's paying now, eh? I should have known. If I believed you. Trust it, How can you mention? Mum and Grandad like that, eh? And use them. I wasn't. Oh, look, you found your phone. Give it to me. Please let me go. I won't say a thing. I just want to see my son. Live a normal life with him. Well, I said you could And then you left me for weeks. Yeah, but it wasn't meant to be that long, was it? I just want to go home. We can both still go. I know you're worried about what might happen, but we can find a way through. There is no way! There's no other way! Then what? Lachlan, Lachlan, listen to me. I can still go. I'll only be around for as long as it takes for me to book a flight for me and say... Yeah, and, and, and what, hey? You find somewhere where there's no phone, there's no internet, and you just stay there forever. I don't want to be here anymore. He won't be for much longer.
Belle, Belle, wake up, please. I, I don't think she's breathing. She's not breathing. We check her pulse. I can't feel anything. But look, she needs mouth to mouth and chest compressions. The ambulance is on its way, right? You killed her. Lachlan, she needs help. Is this payback? This is my punishment, right? No, she, she ran out in front of us. She was all I had. Yeah, and what about Bex? Is she alive? Because we know she never went to Wales. Where is she, Lachlan? Did you kill her too? She remembered that you killed Mummy and Grandad. That why you did it. No, she remembered she needed to dump you. You think this is funny? She had a kid! She had a life and you stole it from her! You already smashed her brains in, was that not enough? Ross. Where is she? That'll be the ambulance. It's close. Oh, come on. I'm here, um. Don't move. You might make it worse. Just, just stay still. You'll be all right. Contact! Oh, please! Oh, please! Oh, please! Oh, please! Oh, please! Don't move! Oh, please! Don't move! Leave the gun exactly where it is. Put your hands above your head. Hands above your head now. She, he was chasing her. She came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do. I reckon you saved her life. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that, Lachlan? I wish I'd hit him. I don't. I want to find out what he did to her, and then I want him to suffer. Bex is dead, isn't she? He made it sound like she was. The police will find out. All we can do now is wait. <laughs> 